everybody welcome back to my channel messy vegan mama my hair is a mess today it goes along with my name um but my actual name is michelle and if you are new here please um consider subscribing if you do like this video it always helps my channel out and then i can make more and more content for you guys here is my cat jumping on the table oh boy he he literally wants to be in these videos <laughs> okay blue they can see part of you but anyway today's haul is fairly different than what i usually do because i just rolled out of bed and went to target today um just on a whim because we really didn't need much we still have like a lot of produce and you know all the healthy good stuff so I was like, you know what, let's go find out what's new at Target because I haven't been there in a long time. So I figured I might run into some new items. And guess what? I ran into a lot of new items. So that's exciting. And I wanted to share that with you all today. But I also saw just so much on sale. So if you are looking to go shopping um, I don't know if the sale will be when this video comes out because today is Saturday and this video will be posted on Monday. So I'm not sure about that, but, but if the sale is still going on at that time, it's just a really good sale in my opinion for some of the more expensive fun items. Oh, wow. My cat is, you're attacking me. Why? <laughs> seriously okay he wants to play all right well i'm not gonna get much else out of my mouth right now because the cat is attacking me so um let's just start this uh and i will try to um do a review on these items because i said that i was going to start doing that so i think once a week if i have like a lot of new items i will try to do a review and i'll post that on either wednesday or thursdays so um yeah i hope you like the video okay so let's start with some of the older items that everyone's probably already heard of um i didn't get much produce as i said we still have a lot of produce but lettuce obviously goes bad fast so we don't have any lettuce, um, any fresh lettuce, and I always like to have lettuce on hand. So I got some organic romaine hearts, and I will use my wonderful salad spinner that um, I just showed you in my Amazon haul video the other day. I'll just link that up here uh, so you can check that out if you want, because my salad spinner has literally made my life so different. Salad um, is so much fresher now and the lettuce just stays fresh for a lot longer. Like this whole bag will last probably more than a week, which before it was not even lasting like two, three days. So if you are on the market for a salad spinner, you need to get one. And the one that I have is perfect and super cheap and it just, it holds like all of this, all of this lettuce. So. I'll, I'll, I'll link that video here and I'll also put the salad spinner in the description box um, in case you want to buy one. All right, and what else do I have? Oh, for produce, like I said, I did not get much produce. My son grabbed some strawberries. I told you last week we went strawberry picking and yeah, we don't really have much left of those. I told you my son is going to turn into a strawberry, but... <laughs> That being said, you know, we did make strawberry pancakes um, a few times this week. It's a new recipe. It's on my blog. And it was, I mean, I told my son, like, this is literally the best um, recipe I think I've ever come up with. I have quite a few, but this was a hit. It was so good. Um, we didn't use oat flour. I usually use oat flour for my pancake recipes. I have a few pancake recipes on my blog and they're all really good, but these strawberry pancakes were so good. I so I will link that in the description box as well because it was it was so, 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 so good. I can't even tell you how good. <laughs> it was just so good. Um, so we might use those to actually make the pancakes again. Maybe, we'll see. Um, and for produce, I also got this... Um, cantaloupe here because um I just want some fresh fruit this week I don't really feel like doing much 
cooking. It's been hot. Summer's coming. I'm like not in the mood to cook at all this week. I cooked a lot of food last week and I'm just sort of done with that. So I'm going to keep it simple and have some fresh fruit on hand to pick at. And the only other produce I really got, I don't know that you would consider this produce, but these O oh Snap pickles um, from the pickling company. My son loves these. I love these too. They're just full of flavor and super simple. Like, you know, they're already chopped and just kind of a yummy snack or it can go along with sandwiches. Yeah, I got a few of those. They were on sale. That was one of the items. Um, I'm gonna actually put prices in this haul so you can see um, because there were there was a lot of stuff on sale and then I got a lot of new items. So just to show you what, you know, how much it, everything costs, I'll put those in, I'll put those in the video. Um, let's see. All right, what else did we get? Dave's Killer Bread, because we plan on making sandwiches because I do not want to cook this week. And my son likes this bread. I mean, I like it too, but I found, <laughs> I found this, which is my favorite brand for bread, Silver Hills. And they have this sprouted power one, but they have like, they have a bunch of different ones, but it is, it's actually labeled vegan somewhere. I know it is. I looked when I was at the store. Where it is, where is it? Vegan and no dairy. Um, whereas Dave's is not labeled vegan, but I'm pretty sure, I think all of their breads are vegan. I'm not going to say all of them, but I think, you know, if you look at the ingredients, they, I know this one's vegan, but I think um, I think most of them are, if not all. So we got those two breads just for sandwiches, and we got some Cheo creamy slices of cheese. This is my son's favorite. This is one of my favorites. Um, I like to get things that we agree upon so that I don't have to make, you know, separate meals. But we're just gonna use these for our sandwiches. For this week, we're gonna go out a lot this week, do some fun things, and we need some, you know, things we can just bring with us and not have to heat up. So I got these tofurkey plant-based deli slices as well. Um, with that in mind, for our sandwiches, we'll just do lettuce, uh, the cheese, and the tofurkey slices, and whatever else we might want to put on it. Um, and those two were on sale as well. So the Cheo was on sale for a good price. It was 25% off, I want to say. And the Tofurky was also 25% off. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, let's see. We got Birch, Birch Benders is the brand. I think I've showed you this before because my son loves, he's obsessed with pancakes. Um, and we got this for that in mind. Well, he got it. <laughs> he got that for that in mind. But like I said, we have our own pancake recipes and especially that strawberry one was so good that, I mean, I didn't really need him to get that, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. And I, another thing I did not need him to get, <laughs> I didn't even know he got this until I got to the register and this box is huge. How many are in here? So many. 18 two ounce twin packs. I don't know. This box is like massive and they're not healthy really. <laughs> These fig bars, Nature's Bakery. I know it like sounds, oh, nature, it's healthy. It's really not, but you know, something to snack on, you know, not everything can be healthy for the kids. So <laughs> we did get that. I didn't want to, but all right. And I was um, actually looking for this brand bobos and i was looking for their bars um i know they have them at whole foods and i love them just to like when you're out on a hike or you know out for a long time and you know you're hungry they're very filling and i don't know to me you know they're they're healthier than some snacks so that's that's good like i said i don't want to cook this week i don't want to make anything so um but this lonely box was the only one there <laughs> There was nothing by Bobo's except this lonely box, and I've never had these chocolate chip oat bites. But the reason being, 
Bobo's was on sale. So like I said, a lot of things were on sale. So there was nothing left except for this little box. And I think that I like these. So I mean, I'm excited to try them. They're, they're new to me, the chocolate chip oat bites, but I've had I've had like everything from this company and everything has been good. So I'm delighted to be able to try those. And my son, oops, sorry, hitting my coffee mugs. Um, my son grabbed some pasta and I mean, he eats pasta a lot. I know it's not healthy, but you know, that's, that's what the kid likes. He's very picky. He does try new things, so that's good. Um, and then I got some of this Miyoko's butter. They used to sell this at Trader Joe's. They do sell a Trader Joe's brand that tastes just like this. Um, so, and it looks kind of similar, the, like the box. So if you do have, you know, the ability to go to Trader Joe's, that's a lot cheaper than this. Um, this is a little expensive. I want to say it might have been on sale. Um, it might have been, I'm not sure, but you know, it's the only vegan butter there, so I had to get it because we're out of everything. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Not too much else over here. I got this uh, unsweetened vanilla Califa Farms, I believe. And this milk is, I know I always say this, it doesn't make any sense, but for some reason, this particular brand tastes so much better than any other almond milk, but it's usually pretty expensive, but it was on sale. So I got that because why not? <laughs> it was on sale. Um, and then I got some pure vanilla extract, which I mean, it's only two fluid ounces and you know, it was a little bit, a little bit pricey, I would say for the two fluid ounces. Trader Joe's has vanilla extract the cheapest. So like if you can go there, just go there. <laughs> and my son already ate one of these. Yep. I told you we rolled right out of bed and left. We didn't even eat breakfast. So as soon as we got home, he grabbed one of those. But this is his favorite yogurt. He does he does eat the vanilla one by this brand too. So so delicious. Um, he'll eat the vanilla one and he'll eat this strawberry one. He is not a fan of too many of the other flavors. My favorite is the peach flavor, but they don't. I don't think they sell that at Target. But if I can ever get my hands on that, I love, 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 love that one. Um, I'm not like a fan of anything except for the peach flavored one. So, but they didn't have that. So that's it over here. Now on to the new items. And I got this um, Amy's vegan rice and rice mac and cheese for my son. He uh, used to love this and then they made it different. This is in the frozen section if you're ever looking. Um, but he hated it when they changed the recipe he said that it oh yep yeah, there it is our classic recipe is back so we got that see if he likes this again um and yeah maybe i'll put that in the review as well since it's back to the classic recipe okay my friends here is the exciting stuff this is all the new stuff i found which is pretty cool i don't know if it's new to you but it's definitely new to me um, I'll start with these purple carrot uh, plant-based meals. They're frozen. Um, this is new to me. I haven't seen this one. The only one that I've seen ever at Target and at Whole Foods is it's like a, a vegan meatball one. I think it has rice with it and that's the only one I've ever found anywhere. So and that one's pretty good but I wanted to check this out because it's brand new um spinach artichoke and it's what is it mixed vegetables creamy pasta and a creamy cheese sauce so and it is vegan yeah i don't know it's new and i always like to try different things so i'm excited to try this um i've never tried purple carrots like delivery service but I've always wanted to. So that's something I might do in the future because it looks really good and I've heard really, really, really good reviews on it. So yeah, if I ever do, I'll definitely show you that. But that's one of the new ones that I saw. And then here's this um, udon noodle bowl. This one, again, this is new to me. I've never seen it before and it sounds pretty good. And they're using Gardein, uh, the beefless ground in it. So. 
I don't know, this is right up my alley. I love udon noodles, so I'm hoping that will be delicious. And I will do a review, I promise, on all of this, all of these new items um, in the future. And there was another one there. It was like a corn dish. Now, I'm not gonna say I don't like corn, because you've seen me buy corn. I've bought, you know, the corn on the cob, and especially fresh corn on the cob is so good. But I don't know, just like a huge bowl of like a cornmeal. I don't know. I didn't want to try that one, so I didn't get that one. And then I saw these pancakes by Partake. Now Partake, they have, um, they do actually sell some Partake items at Trader Joe's. I think it's just the chocolate chip cookies, but I want to say maybe they have the birthday cake cookies there too. But Partake is a good brand. Um, I think it's gluten. Is it gluten free? Yeah, it is. This is gluten free, vegan. Um, just add water, so that's pretty cool. And I don't know. I just it's new to me. I've never seen it, so I'm excited to try it. It looks really yummy, confetti flavor. Yeah, I don't know. It's exciting. It wasn't that expensive either. So um, again, I'll have the prices here. But yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'll let you know how that goes. And then I found these two chips by Siete. I think is how you call it. What is it? Let me see. Siete. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I've had their chips before, but I've never seen these two flavors. This one's Fuego. Um, I have no idea like how that's like what's that gonna it's probably gonna be spicy right it looks spicy that's my guess <laughs> you way it goes sounds spicy to me yeah um but here's the ingredients uh potatoes avocado oil it's got nutritional yeast i'm wondering actually if this is more like a nacho flavor but it could be spicy I mean, it has jalapeno pepper so probably a little bit of spice but i don't know these look really exciting and I love chips. It's not good for you, but I just, I love chips. And to go with the sandwiches that we're gonna be having, you know, let's have some chips too. <laughs> and I saw this, um, I actually saw this one first. It's sea salt and vinegar potato chips. And that was like my favorite thing when I wasn't vegan, the sea salt and vinegar chips. I I had to get this, I had to. So I will, I will try these out and I will let you know what I think. I can't imagine that they won't be good, but yeah. Then the last item I have for today, which looks just super exciting to me. Um, if you saw in the video prior um, to me showing the, the groceries, um, when I was in the store, they had like bigger boxes of each of these, I think, or at least some of them. And this is new. This is totally new. What is the brand name? Like, what is it? Spark. Okay. Or is it Off Limits? It must be Off Limits. Okay. Off Limits is the brand. It seems like all of them are vegan um, and gluten free as well. And what drew me to this was this one down here is a coffee flavor <laughs> i mean that sounds interesting coffee flavored cereal i don't know i mean i love coffee i'm not sure if i'll like the coffee flavor in a cereal but i was like i had to get it i just had to try it for you all and they had um this four pack with all the different kinds so i figure get the four pack try them all out they have cinnamon um strawberry i can't imagine that not being good and I don't know what that is. Pandan? What would that, what flavor would that be? What's in it? Uh, sugar, oat flour, pea fiber, coconut flour. Hmm, I don't know if I'll like that one, but I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try all of them and I will let you know. And I will do that video probably maybe midweek this week. Um, so look out for that. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Uh, it's kind of exciting to have new things to try because we've been super bored lately and I did forget to mention one thing over here. I was just thinking about that because I got just egg because I wanted to eat that for breakfast. <laughs> so that's my last mention of the day. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried just egg. You can buy it like this where it's like a liquid um, or you can buy the patties that are frozen but I like them both, 
but this is just such an easy, like, it's almost like having scrambled eggs for breakfast and have some toast with it. Super yummy. Yeah, but that's it for today. Um, oh, you know what? Let me show you one more thing. Okay, over here. I got some cleaning stuff too. So I should probably just show you that real quick because I know a lot of people, you know, try to buy uh, vegan cleaning stuff. And I believe, I believe seventh generation says it's cruelty free at least. I'm not sure, but I got a bunch of seventh generation stuff. I know I've heard like, it does have the little symbol um, for cruelty free, but I know I've heard like a lot of different reviews on the company but it was the cheapest there so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it um I got some fabric softener and I also got this um just laundry detergent and lavender scent and then I need a dish soap so I grabbed some of that and just some bathroom cleaning stuff because we need to clean our bathrooms so much fun and paper towels to clean and some sponges for more cleaning and that's it that's all i got um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button and i will link that amazon video up here again if you want to check that out because i did have a lot of kitchen items um that i use and that you kind of see in my kitchen when i do show these videos so in case you're interested in that i will pop that up right here um and other than that have a great week. I will see you midweek with some reviews on those new items. And um, yeah, that's about it. Bye, my friends.